Let's take a, a look at another number line. This time it's not going to include just fractions and decimals, but now we're going to include percents, which is really just another form of a fraction or a decimal. Now I'm going to use the same steps that I did before. So my first step is to be thinking of my benchmarks. Now my benchmarks are going to be the one-half, the one-fourth, and the three-fourths. So I start by finding one-half. Now since I'm also dealing in decimals and percents, I'm going to let myself remind myself that that's the same as 0.5 or 5 tenths and 50 percent. Then I'm going to find one-fourth, which is 0.25 or 25 percent and then three-fourths, which is 0.75 or 75 percent. Now the second step, I'm going to simplify where I can, because I might be able to make some things easier for myself. Like for instance, 1938ths, that's one half. That's really good to know. 36 80ths, I know I can simplify by four, so that's going to be 9 twentieths. 24 thirtieths, I can simplify that by 6. So 4 fifths. And that's all that can be simplified. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to start thinking about close to 0, 1 half, or 1 whole. So I'm going to go through and do that. 84%, that's up near 1 whole. One half, well, that's exactly one half. Nine twentieths, that's about one half, but it's actually going to be a little less because ten twentieths would be one half. Sixty-nine hundredths, we're getting close really to, I'm going to actually put three-fourths for that one because I know that that's where it's near. Eight percent is near zero. Four-fifths is near one whole. But I'm starting to think I recognize something about four-fifths. I'll come back to that. Thirty-seven hundredths, that's between one-fourth and one-half. Fifty-six percent is about one-half, a little bit bigger. Thirty-four thirty-fifths, very close to one whole. And then two forty-fifths down near zero. So now that I have my zero, one-half, and one whole, I can start moving some of my fractions around. Last thing I want to point out, though, is that oftentimes I will be thinking in percent. Because if I know the percent of a fraction or a decimal, then I can more easily start to place them on my number line. So I'm gonna grab some of the first obvious ones, like 1938 is one half, so I'm just gonna put that right on there. Okay, and then I look for some other ones that might be standing out. 34 35ths, that's close to one whole, so I'm going to put that up there. My 2 45ths, well that's pretty small, so I'm going to put that down near zero. But then I remembered I had 8%, and I have to start thinking about 8% and 2 45ths. Well this is where it's helpful when I'm thinking about what I know about percent. Well I know that 8% means it's 8%. Hundredths. Now I can't make 40 fifths to hundredths, but I can make this 4 90ths. And I realize that there's even if I were to go to hundredths, it's probably not even going to be 5. So let's call it 5 hundredths even. So we'll say it's about 5 hundredths, which means that my 4 2 40 fifths is definitely less than my 8%. So those are my two smallest ones. Now I'm going to start peeking around for some more things. I have another one close to one half. Since it's a percent, I know it's a bit more than a half because it's 56%. I knew I had another one. Oh, here it was. This one here is close to one half. It's a little bit less than a half. So I'm going to bring that down here, place that one less than one half. Then I'm going to start grabbing some of my others. 69 hundredths. Well now, the nice thing, this is why I use the decimals in my benchmarks. 
It's a little bit less than 75 hundredths, so I can place it right about there. Here's my 37 hundredths. Well, that's going to be a bit more than 25 hundredths. In fact, it's pretty much right in the middle of 25 and 50. So, I'm going to put that pretty much right in the middle there of 1 fourth and 1 half, using my benchmarks to help me. So now I have two left. I have 84% and I have 24 thirtieths. Now both of those I know are near one whole. Now, just to erase some of these things around, so I'm kind of getting in the way. Now I know, as a reminder, that this was four fifths. Now if I want to be able to compare that to a percent, I want that to be out of a hundred. Well, I know 5 times 20 is 100, so I'm going to do 4 times 20 and get 80. So that means that 24 thirtieths is 80%. So 24 thirtieths is a little bit more than 3 fourths, because that's 75%. And then 84% is going to be a little bit more than that. And that is how I would place those fractions on my number line, and decimals and percents. Again, those are my steps.